Hello again everyone. Today we've got the Wilson D9 forged iron to take a look at. I'm going to hit some shots here in the performance center now on the Trackman against my own 7 iron and get some data that we're going to talk about a little bit later on in the video. But for now, let me hit some and we'll talk through all of the tech. So the D9 forged iron from Wilson sits alongside some of its other forged offering in the staff model, both the blade and staff model CB. So it offers a little bit more forgiveness in the form of these asymmetrical D9 power holes that we see in the sole here. That allows the sole to flex a little bit more. It also helps with ball speed as well. So if you're that type of player who maybe needs a bit of distance, but also wants an iron that looks really, really good behind the ball, and let me tell you, this one does, then this one could be the one for you. After hitting them in the room, which we'll talk about the results a little bit later on, it's definitely long. You know, the distance we're getting is, is very, very good but it also looks great behind the ball. I think the sound is very good. The feel is very good as well. So it does feel like a forged iron with a difference, I would say. So you can definitely feel the technology. It sounds weird, but you can feel that working when you're hitting the ball. It doesn't feel like a solid forged head, but the strike still feels really nice and soft. And it is very difficult to try and sort of convey that to you really but certainly the shot I've hit so far out here on the golf course have felt really really good and the distance I'm getting has been great as well so I've got a set of four to pitching wedge and the power hold technology is present from four to seven iron eight nine and wedge are more of your solid forged construction so we're going to try them all out here today have a bit of a look at how they perform and really let you know what we think as we go so now you know a little bit more about the tech that's gone into these irons, let me tell you a bit about what I'm finding when I'm hitting them. So, first of all, I think they look really, really nice. And they're certainly a golf club that will suit many of the golfing purists' eye, as well as that player who maybe needs that little bit more forgiveness. We've obviously gone through the, the tech in the, the slots there in the, in the sole, so that's gonna help the face flex more. So it's gonna add that bit more forgiveness compared to the other Forge models in the Wilson lineup. So let's hit a couple now. So like I say, playing position looks really, really good. Let's hit a few, see what they feel like. I mean, they feel ridiculously quick off the face. Now, loft-wise, these are down at just over 30 degrees, so a little bit stronger than the 7-iron I have in my set, which is 34. Um, but the distance increase is massive, so we're seeing ball speeds kind of pretty close to what I would expect for a 6-iron, maybe even a 5-iron. Um, and in terms of the height, 116 feet there that I've just hit that one, which is pretty good. Let me just hit a couple more. See that one there, a little bit thin, but we've still got 198 yards out of it. And you know some of these slots really then coming into their own and the technology actually working to help me because I've still got over 130 miles an hour of ball speed. So in terms of performance, in terms of feel, and in terms of the sound, I think they certainly tick all the boxes. So we're on the 11th hole here at Howley Hall. I've got 202 yards to the flag. And I've got a seven iron in my hand, yeah? So yes, that is a heck of a long way for a seven iron, but from what we were seeing indoors, I was kind of pitching it around the 190 mark and it was running out a little bit more. So let's hit a couple in here and see how, well, see for one, if we can actually get there. I mean, that's pretty much as good as I can hit it. And it's over the back of the green. That is mental. Um, so that's, <laughs> it's landed on the slope over the back there. We'll get up there, take a look at exactly where it's finished, but 202 to the flag 
You can see the strike was pretty damn good as well. Um, really nice high draw and where it's pitched yeah i can just see that it's just kicked off the back edge of the green there so it's it's carried about 205 yards yes it's slightly downwind i mean there's not really much wind to speak of and it's nice and warm but still for a seven iron that's a heck of a long way wow and see just a few paces past the flag is where i'm stood here and we walk over and find my golf ball it didn't get the nicest bounce just off the back of this ridge here but we can see it's pitched past the flag. Well, it's probably pitched about level with the flag actually and stopped pretty quickly, but it's over 200 yards that shot with a seven. I, I was being optimistic. I thought I might be down the bottom of the green somewhere with a good strike. I did hit it well. And like I say, it's slightly down the breeze, but we're talking, it might be one mile an hour breeze. It's not really anything. And it's a really nice warm day. So that's obviously gonna make the ball go a bit further, but still. 200 yards with a seven iron is absolutely crazy and certainly longer than I would normally hit it. A good one for me is between 175 and 180 with my own, but 200 yards is pretty much unheard of. But as we've spoken about inside, these are a little bit stronger than your standard, although there isn't a standard anywhere for a seven iron, but I would always go 34 degrees is standard for a seven iron. This is just over 30, 30 and a half degrees. So it's kind of what my six iron would be. And a good, a very good six iron for me might get to 200 yards, but it's more like 195, but this has carried all the way there. So serious distance, serious power, ball speed, and you know, it's just freakishly quick off the face, which is very, very good. But it has left me a pretty tricky shot into the green, but we'll see what we can do. Not too bad. <laughs> So having now played a few holes out here with these irons, let's take a look at what we found inside on the track man. So we've hit seven iron versus my own seven iron, which is an Apex TCB um, iron that I'm really happy with. I've been using it for a long time. And like I say, I mean, this is a pretty typical average of what I would find out on the golf course. So between 175 and 180, depending on conditions, is where I would kind of club myself for a seven iron. We can see, in this one so in the d9 forged it's coming off the face considerably quicker now some of that will be down to the loft being that little bit lower so we've already said 30.5 degrees versus 34 in mine so it's four and a half degrees stronger right sorry three and a half degrees stronger um which is going to equate to probably a club difference in the distance now some of the tech in here so with the power holes in there is gonna make the face slightly more flexible. So we'd expect that bit more ball speed as well. And we're certainly seeing that here. If we look at the numbers, it's coming off the face over 130 miles an hour and quite easily over there as well as an average. And if we look at the distance, it's absolutely massive. So that's kind of been backed up by what I've seen while I've been out here on the golf course too. So when we've been hitting shots into greens and that one we've just seen on 11, that's gone over 200 yards with the seven iron, we can see that backs up what we're seeing in the performance center when we're hitting it on the track man as well. Now, there's almost 20 yards difference between my seven iron and this one. So some of that is down to the loft. Some of that is down to the technology just making this face really quick. We can see the spin has come down a bit as well. So it's not stopping quite as quickly as mine or peaking at the same height as mine. But again, some of that is down to the loft. But we can see it's very similar in terms of the speed that I'm swinging it at and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty negligible, those differences. But what we're seeing in the performance difference is quite massive. Now, if you're that type of player who maybe does want to get a bit more ball speed and a bit more distance, but maybe struggles with spin, we can see that this one is going to knock a little bit of that down, or it certainly has done for me. But I'm going to carry on playing a few more holes here at Howley now, hit a few more shots and kind of, I'm just really enjoying hitting these. So really want to put them through their paces a bit more, but 
Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've certainly enjoyed getting out here on the golf course and testing these as I always do with the products that we get sent from Wilson particularly. Their irons are amazing and they're definitely ones that you should go out and try. So the staff model range and then into D94s and then through into D9 and launch pad two and some of the other irons in the range, they're all worth trying. And definitely if you're at that end where you want a player's golf club, something that's a bit more workable, looks great and has a bit of forgiveness in it, you may need not look much further than the D9 Forge. But let us know what you think in the comments section below. As we always say, go and get custom fitted. Go and see a PGA professional that knows what they're talking about when it comes to fitting you for a set of golf clubs so you make sure that you leave with the right set for you. Hope you've enjoyed that and we'll see you all very, very soon.